Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood, Badger here, and I'm excited. All GGG has to do is release a small little post saying, uh, hey, here's an announcement of the announcement of 3.16, and I'm ready to go. Uh, and that's exactly what has happened. GGG has just released a post of their 3.16 expansion timeline. Now, it's not very big. I might put it on the screen here. You can have a little bit of a look at it. There's a link down below as well if you want to check it out. But they're basically just saying a few things. Now, it's not just, you know, uh, the league's coming, wait. There are a couple of important things in there that uh, either confirm things that have been said in the past by Chris or some kind of uh, fan favorites coming back in terms of the lead up. So what I mean by fan favorites, uh, something I felt has been missing for a while in the lead up to Path of Exile expansions has been those teasers of divination cards, of unique items and everything like that. It's been confirmed that these are coming back. So in the next few weeks leading up to the league itself or after the announcement, the actual announcement of the league, uh, we're going to be seeing more teasers of things coming out. I think that really helps to build hype. In the past, uh, over the past few leagues, it's felt a little bit anticlimactic of, hey, here's the league. Now wait. And now you can play. Um, so hopefully this will really help that. Just, just get that ball rolling a little bit more and, and not stop the ball at all. Twitch drops are coming back for the uh, twitch.tv uh, announcement uh, because it will be done live on the Path of Exile account once again. So that's kind of cool. We don't know what we're actually going to get, but Twitch drops are always cool. Some sort of MTX in game. And it has also been confirmed once again that uh, the Atlas is being shrunk. So around about 100 maps, I think they're saying, and only four regions. So we'll have to wait and see how this actually looks in game. But I think that's going to be really, really nice for uh, both returning players, you don't want to grind that whole thing again, and also new players coming in to understand the Atlas a bit more. You can uh, rest be assured I'm definitely going to be doing an updated massive Atlas guide once that does come out, because, uh, yeah, oh, oh, look, it's only going to be like that kind of for one league until the new endgame comes in, so maybe I'll do like a short guide for it, but it's going to be pretty easy to understand. Now, there's also going to be stuff happening from this point onwards, not just from GGG, but from the community as well. I want to talk about a private league that I'm going to be playing in. I'm not going to go full in depth into it. There's a link down below. It's organized by uh, Lolcohol, a wild Aussie. I think Lighty, uh, Lighty Gaming is helping. Uh, Lighting with Lighty with a Y. Uh, and it's called Anomaly League number two. Now they've done one in the past. It was kind of like a Gucci Hobo League. And this one uh, is a private league that's kind of the beta of hard mode, I guess you would say. The private league modifiers that are enabled are only white items dropping from the ground and no vendors. So you're not gonna be able to sell items or buy gems or anything like that. You are still gonna be able to use expedition uh, vendors uh, with their own mechanics, so don't worry too much about that. But the big kicker is you're only allowed to play an ascendancy from each class. That is the, uh, the, the lowest played ascendancy uh, of softcore trade league this league. So I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but you know, for each of the six kind of base classes, I think things like Inquisitor, Pathfinder, uh, I think Champion as well. Anyway, uh, all of those and Ascendant is banned as well because Ascendant's actually pretty high played. Now it's not like a massive competition. It's kind of like pseudo, I don't want to call it BPL because that's something much different, but pseudo BPL and you know, people just helping each other and just having fun with a private league. I'm going to be playing in that. I think I want to play a Shield Crush Poison Pathfinder which uh, crunching the numbers, looking pretty darn cool. So I might release a video on that very soon as well. So link down below if you want to check that out. You can very easily apply. You can jump onto Lolcohol's Discord. You can check that one out there as well. He hasn't asked me at all to do this. I'm just pretty excited to, to be playing that. I am also playing Hardcore Solo Self Found on the side. Now, is there really anything else that I need to talk about in terms of the expansion time? Just give me a second now. I just need to read it. Hang on. Time for a week again, but I was playing a my tears around the crowd. There is podcasts of not known maps that didn't really feel much. That's basically it. We don't even have the timeline yet. We don't have the timeline, um, but that's going to be coming really soon as well. I think next week or well, later this week, a follow up news post that confirms the exact dates. So later this week, we'll get that. Rest be assured that if you missed that, I'll probably have some sort of information on YouTube for you all. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoy this content, and remember I am releasing a bunch of new player content as well. So if you're not subscribed and you're more of a new player to Path of Exile, definitely subscribe because there's a bunch of cool stuff coming out. The next one that's coming out is all about Ascendancies and Labyrinth Trials. So you can check that out. Uh, I've actually had a few people over the past few days come into my chat and be like, what are Ascendancies and how do I actually get them? And I'm kind of like, 
whoa, this is something we really take for granted, but there's no real resource out there, and GDD doesn't do a great job in-game of really showing you how that does work. So, massive video of that coming out probably in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and until next time, Badger is out. Thank you.